morning, everybody. Good to be here. I, uh, so I want to talk about a lot of good reasons why public higher education is so important so, to so many people in the state. I want to focus just for a couple minutes on the importance of public higher ed to our business community. I think if you brought 100 business people in Massachusetts in a room and you asked them the question, why do you choose to have a business in Massachusetts, grow your business in Massachusetts, uh, 100 of 100 would say, it's because of the talented workforce that's here. That is our distinctive competitive advantage. Really, there's no debate about that. You will hear some people say, however, uh, well, gee, we have a lot of uh, private colleges and universities here. Uh, why is public higher ed so important? And I think there's a lot of reasons why it's important to the business community, but I'm just going to give you two quickly here this morning. One is, in our modern innovation economy that we have here, yes, we have the need for very highly educated people, but we also have a massive need uh, for well-educated people who fall somewhere between uh, a high school diploma and a full four-year degree. There's literally hundreds of thousands of good jobs in a variety of industries, healthcare, manufacturing, construction, that fall in that middle range. And if you look, honestly, our private Colleges and universities have paid very little attention uh, to that uh, segment, which isn't like a niche. It's literally hundreds of thousands of people uh, who need that kind of uh, uh, education and support. And you've heard some of the stories, but our, our, it's really our public education here, our community colleges, state colleges and universities that do such a tremendous job of understanding that issue and focusing on the issue. Uh, it requires, as Phil has talked about, meeting people where they are, a lot of the um, a lot of these uh, young people uh, completed their education, or maybe thought they did in high school, and then joined the workforce, and then realized in order to get the good job or the kind of job they wanted, uh, they needed uh, more education, uh, and are coming back. And it's really uh, public higher ed that's been the champion uh, of those students and the support for those students uh, for many years here, and we need that to continue. Uh, to have a successful economy and to meet the needs of our employers. The second uh, reason I want to mention is if you look at our innovation economy, as uh, we used to call Governor Patrick and I used to call it, but focus very heavily on science, technology, and medicine. Uh, and it's terrific uh, that we have such a strong innovation economy here, but it's a huge challenge that it's so disproportionately concentrated in Boston and Cambridge. And the benefits of that economy and those jobs have not really spread around the state. And so when you look at the UMass system and what's happening in Lowell and in Worcester and in Amherst, uh, not only are they training uh, young people for jobs in the innovation economy, they're helping them start businesses and incubate businesses. They're collaborating with local companies on research. They're bringing in a lot of federal research dollars. So they've done an amazing job of uh, helping us to extend our innovation economy and all the benefits of that all across the state. Finally, I just want to uh, point out that in terms of where, where we are in thinking about public higher ed and, and the importance on the agenda, you know, a lot of, if you talk to business people here uh, who's, uh, and ask them, well, where else uh, do you hear about or do you think about as being a great place to do business? Often you'll hear Virginia mentioned, you'll hear North Carolina mentioned, you'll hear Texas mentioned. And if you listen to the governors of any of those states talk about why people should do business in those states, if you listen to those governors talk for more than five minutes, they will always talk about the great public higher education system they have in those states and how that is training the workforce uh, that employers need to be there. So that would be a great vision, I think, for us to have, is to say, let's uh, make an effort on, on, these, uh, on this initiative to a point where, when we're talking about why Massachusetts is a great place to do business, higher education is right at the top of the list. Thank you.